Hello there, my fellow aficionados of evil gigantic war machines, and welcome back to another episode on the forces of chaos in Warhammer 40k. I know that currently I am also covering the cults of chaos, which I will continue to do so, but I figured a bit of diversity would not hurt. Today's topic is more or less standalone, and it will be about something that's been requested on my channel for a very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a short overview on the Chaos Titans. We're gonna learn a few things about them in general, as well as talk about some unique classes, or already existing but corrupted classes. I'm your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? A Chaos Titan is usually similar in form and function to its Imperial counterpart, but its long exposure to the warping influence of Chaos has transformed many of them into amalgamations of machine and demon. In some cases the crew has even merged with their machine, making it impossible to tell where one ends and the other begins. Other crews have given themselves and their weapons willingly solely to the service of one of the four great ruinous powers, and thus have been transformed to represent that god's portfolio. During the Horus Heresy, half of the Adeptus Mechanicus, including hundreds and hundreds of Titans, turned to the worship of Chaos, taking their mighty war machines with them, and thus helping to form the Dark Mechanicus. Unfortunately, other Titan legions have fallen into corruption even after the end of the Horus Heresy. And we shall start today with a few words on the Slanesh Chaos Titans. One note I would like to add is that I already talked about these in a separate episode, so this time I'm just gonna make an overview of them. If you want a more detailed look, do check my video titled Demon Engines of Slanesh. Like their Imperial counterparts, Chaos Scout Titans dedicated to the pleasure god Slanesh possess incredible speed, which allows them to start attacking the enemy while the rest of the army is still charging into range. As they skirt around the enemy, the Slanesh Scout Titans flicker with power, tapping raw energy from the Materium to maintain their essence within the physical realm. Inside the hardened carapace of each of these fell god engines is the spirit of a bound demon, guiding it with its sheer force of will, firing its weapons as one might raise a finger. Like their smaller renegade knight counterparts, Slanesh Titans do not utilize ion shields. Instead, they are surrounded by a glittering wall of energy created by the warp interface within them, which anchors the demonic spirit inside to the material realm. This shifting, swirling aura is called the Glamour of Slanesh, and makes a Slaneshi Titan very hard to target accurately. In effect, it works like an Eldar hollow field, and is yet another emulation of that Xenos race's own Titans. Just like the hollow field, the Glamour of Slanesh proves useless against a barrage or other attacks spread across a wide area, as such weapons do not rely on pinpoint accuracy. Additionally, since the Glamour of Slanesh is an interface with the Immaterium, it also provides a measure of protection against attacks drawing upon the warp, such as Vortex missiles or psychic abilities. Without warning, the Scout Titans of Slanesh attack the air crackling with power and echoing to their hideous demonic cries. Protected by the coruscating glamour of Slanesh, these deadly war machines race into the fray with long, graceful strides. In the brief and bloody conflict that inevitably ensues, the demonic weapons unleash a hail of death and destruction, throwing the enemy into confusion. Then, as suddenly as they appeared, the war machines of Slanesh are gone, only to attack again from another point on the battlefield. Almost impossible to pin down, these deadly engines of war have broken many foes of the Lord of Pleasure. The Feral Class Scout Titan These are the twisted versions of the Imperial Warhound Class Scout Titan, and are used for the same tactical purposes even by the forces of Chaos. Within the forces of Chaos, the dreaded Chaos Warhound Class Titans, reclassified as Feral Class Titans by the Imperium, have seen millennia of service in the Traitor Titan Legion's pursuit of the Long War against the Imperium of Man, 
becoming utterly corrupted by the demonic powers of the warp and the fickle favor granted to these vile war machines by the ruinous powers. The Titan's machine spirit and its damned crew become possessed by demons and are doomed to serve the will of chaos for all eternity. The Ravager Class Battle Titan Within the forces of chaos, these Reaver Titans are ancient and irreplaceable relics, left over from the days of the Horus Heresy and the Great Crusade. To differentiate between these corrupted Reavers, the Imperium has redesignated them as Ravager class battle engines, though this name is actually rarely used. The majority of these have seen millennia of service with the powers of chaos, and have long since become utterly corrupted by the touch of the Dark Gods. The others are salvaged Imperial war engines taken from the battlefield as spoils of war, much to the eternal shame of their former masters. These captured battle titans have been subjected to bloody ritual in order to consecrate them to the service of the Chaos Gods. Revered and tended to by warp-tainted heretics of the Dark Mechanicus, lesser servants of the damned view them as incarnate gods of fire and death. Many of the lesser beings who serve Chaos make obeisance to them, offering sacrifices of captives and even their own lives to slake the thirst for blood of these towering monsters. The Chaos Warlord Class Battle Titans To differentiate these corrupted warlords from their Imperial counterparts, the Imperium has designated these war machines with different class names which have been happily altered by the Titan's renegade crews. The Chaos Warlord class Titan has four main variants depending on which Chaos God the Titan is aligned with. Even though there are different versions of these, the most commonly encountered is the so-called Banelord Titan. The Banelord is the Titan dedicated to the Blood God Korn, and has been modified with a long tail ending in a large cannon of various types, while another such cannon protrudes from the Titan's demonic mouth. The Bane Lord also has access to three special weapons a Havoc Missile Rack, a Hellstrike Cannon, and a Doom Fist. The Plague Lord class is the one dedicated to Nurgle, the Bane Lord is the one dedicated to Slanesh, and the Warp Lord is the one dedicated to Tsinge. The Chaos Emperor Titans the Imperator class and the Warmonger class of the Emperor Battle Titans are without a doubt the greatest war engines ever created by the Imperium of Man. Those few Emperor-grade Battle Titans to fall into the hands of the traitor legions in the Horus Heresy that still exists today are very rarely deployed on the battlefield. And even that is only when the forces of Chaos have decided that they are willing to pay any cost to ensure a victory. Most of these have since been possessed by the greater demons of Chaos, which have transformed these great war engines into towering leviathans of warp-corrupted steel and adamantium, a true incarnation of the power of Chaos in the material realm. Some infamous Chaos Titans include Abominatus Abominatus, also known as the Despoiler of Worlds, was a special class of Chaos Imperator Titan that was fused with a greater demon of Korn. Augmenautus Rex The Chaos Imperator class Titan, Augmenautus Rex, has fought against the Legio Invicta and the Legio Tempestus forces, defending the Forge World of Orestes in 779 and 41. It completely vaporized the Legio Tempestus Warlord class Orestes Magnificat with just one shot. The princeps of the Legio Invicta Warlord Sicarian Pharaoh, Vincent Kung, linked his MIU, or Mind Impulse Unit, with those of Titans from three entire battle groups, to take down the Augmenautus Rex with an assault coordinated by a single mind. Such a measure, although forbidden, was mandatory, as the Imperator class Void Shields were so powerful that they would have definitely withstood a more dispersed assault. It is said that even after it had fallen and was disabled, it took another 10 minutes of sustained fire to actually destroy it. Bubonus Also known as the Demonic Plague Titan of Nurgle, this was a special Chaos Imperator class titan fused with a greater demon of the Plague God.
Caligula. This one is another Chaos Imperator aligned to the Blood God Corn and host to another of his greater demons. Dies Irae. This one is arguably the most infamous Chaos Titan ever. Its name actually meant Day of Wrath in High Gothic. And it was this titan that stormed the battlements of the Imperial Palace during the Battle of Terra, and had originally been assigned to the 63rd Expedition Fleet, the arch douchebag's own fleet throughout the Great Crusade. It was eventually destroyed about 10,000 years later in the 41st millennium, during an Iron Warriors campaign against the world of Hydra Cordatus, where it engaged a demi-legion of Imperial Titans and destroyed almost all of them, before finally being stopped by the warlord Honoris Causa. Skylock This one is also nicknamed the Winged Titan of Change, possessed by a Lord of Change, and supposedly even with the ability to fly. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Chaos Titans for today. As you probably noticed, there's a lot of variety here, even considering that most of them are fairly similar to their Imperial counterparts, on the outside if not on the inside. Are you a fan of Chaos Titans? Which type did you find most interesting? Let us all know what you think about them in the comments below. Was the episode informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for future content. And if you'd like to stay a bit more up to date with my content, you can also click the bell notification icon. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an awesome day. The Emperor protects.